your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried what is going on YouTube? So today I want to discuss the Windows 10 event. It just took place today and I want to talk about everything that was announced today and basically give my opinion on the announcements and the overall success of the event. But before we get started make sure to like and subscribe button, it will really help my channel and let's jump right into it. So today Microsoft held their Windows 10 event which basically showed developers, the public and basically everybody in between there basically Windows 10 what it's gonna be like what it's gonna be like to use um, different devices it uses and stuff like that and overall I was kind of disappointed in the gaming respect now don't get me wrong the overall Windows 10 event wasn't that disappointing it was more of the relationship to the Xbox and PC gaming um, areas to Windows 10 because Phil Spencer and some other uh, Microsoft um, executives have been tweeting out and teasing that this was going to be a really big event for Xbox and PC gaming and that just turned out to be false. There wasn't too many major announcements, not even just talking about games but like software and different features coming to Xbox and PC gaming. Now probably one of the most noteworthy features about this conference was the ability for your Xbox One to stream any games that you currently own on it to a PC, a laptop, or any Windows tablet, which is really cool. Because one potential use that I could use and possibly other gamers out there is currently I have my Xbox One set up to my monitor and I'm sitting on a chair and sometimes I get bored of that. Like sometimes I'm not comfortable sitting in the chair for hours or whatever. And sometimes I just want to go down to my basement on my big screen TV, lay on the couch, and just play video games. And with this, I can. Because all I have to do is hook up my laptop to this HDTV via HDMI, and I can stream all my games in really good quality to there, which is really cool. And I feel like that's going to be a very popular feature to use. So another gaming aspect that Microsoft announced today was an Xbox app that you can download on any Windows 10 device and it basically allows you to see what your friends are playing, um, you can interact with them, you can actually voice chat with them, message them all on your um, gaming PC or laptop and interact with them on their Xbox which is kind of cool but nothing really noteworthy about it. And they also talked about DirectX 12 very briefly. They didn't give us too much numbers or information. They showed a tech demo of basically DirectX 12 running a similar program to a DirectX 11. And they showed that DirectX 12 outperformed it very significantly versus the DirectX 11. And they also said that CPU bound games that are really pushing the CPU are going to perform 50% better with DirectX 12 versus DirectX 11. So I'm really looking forward to that in the future games that support more CPU intensive games that can use DirectX 12 to push the Xbox and push PC gaming even further. So if you're a big fan of Fable Legends or Fable in general, you can now play it on PC because it'll be coming to PC. It'll be coming out PC and Xbox One whenever it launches. So if you're a big PC gamer and you like the game, now you can pick it up. And we've also heard that this game is the first game right now t that we know of that will be supporting DirectX 12. So that's pretty cool since it's going to be running on Unreal Engine 4. And also Unity has said that they've been implementing DirectX 12 features into their engine. So that's going to be good to see more games supporting DirectX 12. Another feature that was teased and kind of announced before this event took place was basically a developer can make code for any game or application and basically Windows 10 will work its magic and allow it to work properly on an Xbox One, a PC, or Windows Phone for any matters. So that's pretty cool. It'll decrease the time for porting over games and applications to get more apps and games on Xbox One, Windows Phone, and PC. So that's going to be a nice little feature and we'll be seeing more games and applications on all those different devices. They've also shown off some AR headsets, but I really wasn't too impressed. There's just a bunch of tech demos and stuff like that. But in terms of Xbox Windows 10 event um, information, this is basically all we have. And they said when we see more specific 
um, examples of features and innovation regarding Windows 10 and the Xbox OS at GDC. So basically this was meant more for desktop and tablets and laptops use, but at GDC it would be more technical for DirectX 12 and gaming in general. So I'm kind of disappointed because I thought it was all going to be taking place at the Windows 10 event, but turns out we're going to have to wait till March to get more information on how the Xbox OS is going to work and look with Windows 10. But that's basically it. Leave me down in the comments section below which feature you look forward to most and which feature interests you the most and stuff like that. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe button because it really helps with my channel. And I'll see you next time.